Thank you for watching this maxillary single arch dentate chrome case. Please notice the minimalist approach. Only five or six components to the entire surgical and restorative protocol of this one day surgery. Let's quickly go over the components of chrome. This is the pin guide. The pin guide is used to deliver the fixation base. The fixation base is what holds and supports all the subsequent guides. It also is a bone reduction leveling. It supports the osteotomy guide, which is all made of chrome cobalt, precision made for guided systems. The little blue plungers are what hold all the components on. The carrier guide supports the prosthetic as well as the rapid appliance. It also aligns the multi-unit abutments and gives direction for the implant rotation. And then finally is the surgical bite to ensure the upper and lower come together. Let's begin the case. The first step is to, of course, anesthetize the patient and then the pin guide is tried in. This is a dentate case, so the pin guide will rest on teeth. There are occlusal windows designed in the pin guide to ensure that the teeth and the pin guide meet perfectly. The windows are exposed uh, so that you can make a visual confirmation that the pin guide is 100% down. Once confirmed, then the pin guide is removed. And in this case, there was uh, some malocclusion, so the teeth that were in the way of the pin guide were extracted. And once they were extracted, uh, doctor uh, flapped the labial tissue all the way up to the top of where the fixation base will be. And with the tissue held out of the way, the pin guide is assembled with the fixation base and then reinserted back into the mouth. At this point, the pin guide is held firmly against the teeth, very firmly through this whole process. And the sites are drilled one at a time. Drill a site, place a pin, Drill the next site, place a pin until all the pins are perfectly seated, and then the pin guide can be removed. With the fixation base seated, now the teeth are extracted. The bone is reduced down to a flat level, even with the fixation base. In other words, you should be able to take a finger, a gloved finger, and rub from the fixation base back to the bone and have a smooth transition. You can try in the carrier guide at this point to make sure that there's no tissue or bone holding it up. Once it fits passively and seats passively with no rock, then you can proceed to the next step. In fact, some doctors try in the prosthetic at this point just to make sure the bite is right so there's no surprises at the end. Now, it is time to start drilling the osteotomies and placing implants. This is a Strawman BLX guided kit. This is their newest implant system. The system has an aggressive implant thread. It also comes with custom inserts for our osteotomy guide. You'll notice in some of the images that there are some plastic inserts that fit into the osteotomy guide to accommodate their drill. Once all the implants are seated and placed, then uh, this doctor uses a bone profiler to open up uh, some of the bone around the implants, uh, especially on the angled ones. And once the bone is removed, then the multi-unit abutments are seated they are all seated and they should be uh, parallel as planned. Then the temp cylinders are installed. As you can see, this case was carefully planned and um, diligently followed with the guided uh, protocol system. The doctor then seated our custom green blockout gaskets, applied adhesive to the prosthetic. In this case, the doctor used VOCO and you have to use an adhesive. The prosthetic is seated. The blue plugs are placed inside of each temp cylinder. The vocal material is applied to the table to time the seating, uh, the setting. And then the material is used to backfill the void between the prosthetic and the temp cylinders. And once that's complete, then the prosthetic is removed and then a second pickup is completed with the, with the rapid appliance. The rapid appliance is used for the final conversion of the prosthetic once the prosthetic is removed, then it goes back into the laboratory, the doctor's office, and there are voids that need to be filled and holes where the prosthetic fits to the carrier guide. And once it's converted, which is about um, 10 to 15 minute process, it's uh, taken back to the patient. 
while the prosthetic was being converted, the patient was receiving bone graft material, was resutured, and the prosthetic was reinserted for a magnificent result. This was a wonderful surgery, went very smoothly. Congratulations to Dr. Lee. Uh, the holes were filled and the patient was extremely happy and it was a wonderful outcome. Thank you for watching our video.